Good morning, class. Today, I want to delve into a very important topic that you'll find invaluable as you prepare to enter the workforce or apply for further education. We're going to discuss the significance of job cover letters, what exactly they should contain, and why they are a critical companion to your resume. Additionally, we'll explore the concept of follow-up letters an often overlooked but powerful tool in job searching. Let's start with a cover letter. A cover letter is not just a formality. It's your first opportunity to make a personal impression on a potential employer. Unlike a resume, which lists your qualifications in a structured format, a cover letter allows you to directly address the employer and explain why you are the perfect candidate for the position. It's your chance to highlight how your specific skills and experiences align with the job you are applying for. For example, if you're applying for a marketing position, your cover letter should not only state that you studied marketing, but also describe a successful campaign you led at school or during an internship. Mention the challenge, your action, and the results. This helps to paint a vivid picture of your capabilities and how they translate to real-world applications. Now, moving on to the structure of a cover letter. Typically, it should start with an introduction that grabs attention, followed by a body that builds a compelling case for your candidacy and concludes with a polite closing statement. Always address the letter to a specific person when possible. Doing so demonstrates your attention to detail and genuine interest in the position. The importance of a cover letter cannot be overstated. It sets the tone and invites the reader to look at your resume. A well-crafted cover letter can significantly boost your chances of getting an interview by making a strong, personalized connection with the employer. Next, let's talk about the follow-up letter. After you submit your resume and cover letter, waiting for a response can be challenging. However, sending a follow-up letter can be a strategic move. This letter is typically sent a week or two after the initial application and serves to reaffirm your interest in the position and remind the employer of your enthusiasm and qualifications. The follow-up letter should be concise and to the point. It should politely inquire about the status of your application and express your continued interest in the job. This can set you apart from other candidates who may not show the same level of initiative or interest. In both cases, whether crafting a cover letter or a follow-up letter, it's crucial to maintain professionalism and courtesy. Always thank the recipient for their time and consideration. Make sure to proofread your letters for any spelling or grammatical errors, as these can make a negative impression.
To give you an example of how effective these tools can be, consider the story of a former student who applied for a competitive internship with a major tech company. His cover letter directly addressed how he could assist the company in expanding its digital footprint based on a project he completed during his senior year. Not only did his cover letter get him an interview, but his proactive follow-up email secured his place in the selection process, setting him apart from hundreds of other applicants. Remember, your cover letter and follow-up letters are more than just paperwork. They are your advocates in the job search process. They speak for you before you have the chance to speak for yourself, making them indispensable tools in your career toolkit. As we close today's session, I encourage you all to start viewing these letters not just as tasks to complete, but as opportunities to showcase your unique skills and passion. Each letter you write is a step towards your future career. Embrace the process, and you'll find that these tools will open doors to opportunities you might never have imagined.